toxic algal blooms and what they have to do with public health. First thing before we can go into all the issues and some problems, let's talk about what an algal bloom actually is. So as you can see here, an algal bloom is a development of algae in water. So excessive amounts of nutrients can cause an algal bloom and an overproduction of nitrogen. Basically what happens is the nitrogen goes into the ocean, starts causing everything to grow too fast at an excessive rate, traps nutrients in the water, and too much of a good thing isn't a good thing anymore, and it causes fish and everything in the in lakes to start to die. So what's affected? Who is affected by algal blooms? First thing, quality of water, absolutely. When you have clean water, it's a lot easier to purify and send out and sell than it is to have to send out and sell dirty water because there's a lot of different steps that you have to take in order to purify the water. So quality of water is definitely affected and we don't have unlimited water, so this is an issue. Animals, including us, are affected. We are we are at risk for developing sicknesses and illnesses such as neurotic shellfish poisoning, diuretic shellfish poisoning. These things can all, if not treated properly and at a time in a timely manner, can kill us. And it definitely affects individuals living in third world countries like the Philippines and Indonesia, etc. But I'll get into that in a different slide. Last thing that I want to put on for this PowerPoint in this presentation is climate. So there's a lot of other things that are affected by algal blooms, but climate change is a very real thing, especially when we have too much, too much nutrients. So the prevalence of algal blooms. Anyone that drinks, uses water is at risk, and no one can say that that's not them. There's no exceptions because everyone drinks water. Everyone uses water. We shower. We wash our hands. We drink water. Everything uses water. So even if we don't live near a lake or a pond or the ocean, we're still affected by this because things diffuse, nutrients diffuse, and the entire world can be polluted. And since I believe 2017, worsened by 65%. So what I'm talking about in this note is algal blooms are at their all time high when it comes to polluting the air. Our increased use of plastic is what I want to contribute to this presentation. I truly believe that an increased use of plastic, I've seen people carrying plastic water bottles every single day, people buying plastic water bottles, people buying everything is enclosed in plastic. And so this increased use of plastic is coming from companies that are seeing us buy the plastic, so they're producing more. And the, that plastic is not good for the ocean, but um, a little secondary transport would be the factories polluting the air with how they're making this plastic. Um, and then they're polluting the air with nitrogen. And nitrogen, no over nitrification, which means too much nitrogen, uh, is polluting our lakes and it's polluting our marine life and it's polluting us. So third world countries, again, I was talking about the Philippines and Indonesia, these third world countries are very affected. So females are more prone to this sickness um, and they are also 5% more likely, females and males, to develop a sickness from store-bought shellfish. So a lot of the time we can go out and if you live by the beach, you can catch your own food. And if you are living around the beach, you know that your food is a lot more fresh than if it has to be transported. So there's a lot of different things that go into the store-bought store shellfish and why you're 5% more likely to get sick. Again, this is mostly third world countries. In America, we we have clean water and for the most part. And the reason being is we have advanced technology, we have this education and we have a strong economy. So when you have money to make things happen and to purify water, you are obviously gonna have healthier healthier citizens. We have more education. There's a lot more places where we can do research, where we can have people study and be curious and make advancements in this type of field. And 
again, advanced technology. With more education comes that advanced technology. We have the technology to purify our water in ways that other third world country or that third world countries don't necessarily have the privilege of. So talking about this water purification process, extra materials needed to purify water. This is what drives the price of water through the roof. When you have a water, a, a type of water that you're used to seeing, oh, there's some, there's some nutrients in it that we have to take out, and you're purifying the water like you normally would. However, when there's over nitrification, that's over time for people working. That's over time for the type of technology you're using, more money being used. So water is obviously going to be more expensive because production is a lot more expensive. Uh, talking about Ohio, so Ohio had an issue a few years ago, and $54 million was used to remove contaminants from algal blooms. So Ohio's con contaminants within the water and toxins in the water was so bad that it was getting people sick. It was killing people at a very high rate. And so $54 million, what I'm saying, it being super expensive to take these toxins out of the water proves me right in this Ohio story because these people were in high distress because they were spending a lot of money on water. And again, more people in the hospital and those water prices were through the roof. Water was expensive. So all of these issues. So what do we do about it? I believe that we should lower our plastic usage. It is the root to this entire issue. Yes, we have other factories that make and produce other products. However, plastic is a multi-billion dollar industry. And if we can lower our plastic usage, we can, oh, we can lower that over nitrification of the air and into the ocean or in the lakes and prevent these algal blooms from becoming so severe. Next thing I believe that we should do is encourage, we need to encourage consumers to purchase less plastic. So we can't just say, use less plastic because no one's going to care. We have to really encourage, we have to take charge, less plastic, here's the consequences of less plastic and it's good. Um, also lower the consumption of seafood. So again, you can get shellfish poisoning, neurotic shellfish poisoning from eating shellfish from the ocean. So if you can lower your consumption of seafood, you're obviously lowering your risk of developing a an illness from a fish or anything like that. Track. I think that we really need to start tracking our seafood inventory and our plastic expense per store. Obviously, you start out small. So you start with maybe a couple stores in an area that's more prone to sicknesses or has a lower economy or whatever it might be. Start there. Track how much seafood people are eating. Track how much plastic is going to that store. And it seems not obtainable at the moment, but I think, again, starting small and working our way out would be the best course of action. So to conclude all of this, plastic usage is the root of the problem. Every single article that I read began with plastic, our overproduction of plastic and making the air, polluting the air because of all the plastic we are producing and all the plastic we are consuming, again, that's not good for our bodies, especially people in third world countries where we're drinking the water bottle, we're using this plastic, we're throwing it out, it's out of sight, out of mind, but where is it going? Into the ocean, floating to third world countries, floating around and harming marine life. So just because it's out of sight and out of mind doesn't mean it's not an issue. Uh, this must be stopped first. Plastic usage, again, is the root of the problem. So over nitrification, algal blooms, this is causing sickness and this is a public health issue. If we do not control this, then it can get out of hand and more people can get sick. Thank you for listening to my presentation.